Did you know you can marble with mica? So gorgeous, and with so many colors and combinations, oh, it's endless. I'm gonna show you step by step. Let's get started. Okay, let's start by forming up a nail. You know, it's been a while since I've had, since I've sculpted a full set of acrylic. Well, I'm gonna do one hand, but it's been a while. I've been doing some educating and different designs, but I haven't sculpted in a while. I think it's been a few weeks since I've actually sculpted a full set, and sculpting is my thing. Sculpting with acrylic, and that's what I'm gonna to use today is acrylic. Just check that, that's very nice. Make sure there's no gap, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna put my prep and my bond on. Now, prep and bond is a dehydrator, cleanses the nail. I've got some previous color on here, so don't mind that. And the bond, of course, is a primer and it helps the product stick to your natural nail. Uh, just so you may want to know, I would not use this for gel. It's designed to work with acrylic. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my regular faster setting monomer. I call it fast set because it's faster than odorless, meaning it sets faster. So I'm just gonna get my brush ready to go. It's an acrylic oval eight brush my favorite brush styles to work with. Now I have chosen to use a pink mica in this and that's this little guy here. And mica is a really really super fine very high pigmented powder and I'm going to mix it with black acrylic and clear acrylic and I might add a little white in certain patches. Okay, I'm gonna hold it this way because it's very artistic and I'm used to receiving, from a nail technician's point of view, I receive the client's hand and this is the angle that it's at. So I'm gonna turn it that way because artistically, I wanna be able to see it that way. So I'm gonna start actually with a bead of clear acrylic. So what you wanna watch for is I'm gonna dip into the acrylic, create a ball, a clear ball of acrylic, and then I'm gonna very, very tiny dip into the mica very little amount. So I'm gonna create a decent sized bead of clear acrylic and then a tiny little dip, see that? It's not much at all. Then I'm going to place it and then I'm going to pull and move it around ever so slightly just to sort of get a pattern that I like. For another bead. And just moving that around. Mica is extremely strong in color. At least this stuff is. And it's a strong pigment and it spreads and moves and brightens up whatever you're working with because it is so dense in color you can see every little thread which is why I love it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with black. I'm going to dip a bead of black acrylic and I'm going to just slightly touch see that little bit on the end and I'm going to bring it through the center. I'm going to make these nails long because I want that nail estate to really show the difference in the colors I'm going to use. I do want the black to stay black. I don't want it to get too muddy. Sometimes the, the least amount of play with it keeps it so it doesn't get too muddy. But you do want to move it enough that you do get the color threading through. And I'm gonna do a little bead on the end with a little bit of mica on the very tip. I could even use less mica, actually. I'm gonna bring that down. Like I say, that's why I wanna do it long. I just wanna get these different elements of color. Okay, now before I finish, I'm gonna clear cut the whole thing. I got my natural nail showing through here just a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a bead of white, the tiny little bit, and place it right there. Bring it through here and see if I like that. 
take a little bit away, feed that up in there. And I'm going to feather Sure. Okay, now I'm going to clear cap the whole thing. This is relatively thin. You can see if I'm going to turn it sideways, see how thin it is? If I was to take that off, you could see it's quite paper thin through here. It's a little bit thicker through here because I got a couple layers. So I'm going to clear cap the whole thing, and that is going to be the strength that's going to keep this nail completely intact and be able to handle all the renovations I'm doing at my new head office. So I'm going to clear cap the whole thing. Okay, now I make sure that I, you don't have to do this, but I'm being picky. I make sure I clean my brush really good in the monomer making sure it's all cleared of any color in there. So I'm going to create a big bead. You know, don't underestimate how much of a big size bead an oval eight brush can get you. This is a long nail, but I'm going to get a big bead. I'm going to place that on there. And I am going to clear cap this nail. I almost made it to the whole nail. I'm just going to grab a small bead now and do the very end of this nail. This clear cap is going to give it structure and strength. Okay, that's it for the clear cap. So I'm gonna go ahead now and do all the others and then we're gonna file them up. Okay, I filed them all up. I'm just fine tuning. And now we're gonna top coat them and see that beautiful color come to life. Just gonna give, give them all a little, little once over like this to make them nice and smooth, ready for that top coat. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna grab my, my tube. Okay, so let's get some top coat on there. Oh, I really like the mixture of the clear powder. Isn't that pretty? Let's get the black here, see what it looks like. This one I went more clear and white on the end. I really like that actually. Mm. Gorgeous. Okay, and the pinky. These colors aren't usually what I go for, but I wanted to try something different, you know? Reveal shots. I absolutely love them. I have six different colors in mica, and I went through so many combinations. And I almost went for the green and blue again, which I really love. I did that in gel, I did it with hard gel. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can make all the different colors you want, but check out the green and the blue with the hard gel. Beautiful.